Would you like a source for great ideas that are proven to work, but that don't cost you anything? Yeah? No? Okay, well, we'll assume the answer is yes. I see head shaking and thumbs up. Great, it's a process I call borrow and bend. It is likely whatever you're trying to solve has already been solved in some other industry. For example, uh, there was a hospital not far from me in, in a little town called Muncie, Indiana. Their problem was the ER wait time for the emergency room was excessive. So the original question was, how do we reduce our ER wait time? Well, instead of looking at other hospitals, they looked at hotels. Do you walk into a hotel and have to sit in a waiting room waiting for them to call you up to register? No, you walk up to the counter, you get registered, you're in your room in five minutes. So the, this hospital, Ball Memorial Hospital, said, why don't we just rip out all of our waiting rooms and put in more treatment rooms? And as soon as people walk in the door, we'll put them right in the treatment room. Well, today, that's the gold standard for hospitals. Even medical clinics in, in some parts of the world anywhere are putting in more treatment rooms and they don't have any waiting rooms. They show people in right away. They borrow the idea from outside their industry. Now, if you can see this picture, uh, this picture is a sushi restaurant. The, the founder of the, of the restaurant chain, his problem was he couldn't hire enough people fast enough to deliver the sushi fast enough. He had a constrained labor market. Sound familiar? So he lived down the street from the Asai Beer Brewery, and he saw that they used a, a conveyor system to deliver their product to different departments. So he went to the local airport, and he literally borrowed an old airline a baggage carousel, and he bent it to fit his restaurant. The sushi chefs by the seashore, very hard to say, I would cut the sushi, put it on plates of different colors. The different colored plates would go around the conveyor system and patrons would take whatever they wanted. And the price of the sushi was based on the color of the plate it was on. So they'd take the empty plates of the cashier and just pay uh, based on the color. So he didn't invent the concept. He borrowed the different pieces, parts from uh, different areas. Where can you go outside of your industry, outside of your sector, outside of your profession to borrow ideas that you already see working that you can just borrow and bend to fit your particular situation? Now, some people call this R&D. What does R&D stand for? What do you think? R&D. Research and development. Research and yeah, well, in your world it does. In my world, R&D stands for rip off and duplicate. If you steal from outside your industry, you're just considered brilliant. If you steal from your competitors, well, then you're accused of a lot of bad things. But if you steal from outside your industry, you're, you're good to go. You're golden. So just keep, keep an open mind. Let me give you some examples. Netflix really just borrowed the idea of home delivery and they bent it to fit video entertainment, first with DVDs by mail, then with uh, streaming. iTunes did it with music. iTunes said, you know, people like to pick and choose what they buy. They don't want to be forced to buy a bundle. So iTunes just applied that to music and we saw how that has worked out. For an industrial example, there's a company called uh, Kaiser. Kaiser sells air compressors. Well, they started a new service where instead of selling you the compressor, they supply you with compressed air like a public utility, like gas or electric company. And they just drop a compressor in your parking lot or in your building and they charge you for the compressed air by the cubic meter. So this is product as a service, P-A-A-S, uh, that they did with compressed air. So what can you do differently? Where can you borrow outside of your industry?